Welcome to our overview of the new features available in the 2015A release of Lumerical Device, including comprehensive support for alloy semiconductors and tools for internal quantum efficiency calculations. Let's start with alloy semiconductors. The newest version of Lumerical Device introduces comprehensive support for alloy semiconductor materials. This includes an expanded material database containing most common semiconductors and their alloys, and the ability to easily create spatially varying alloy compositions, for example, graded heterojunctions. In concert with our leading optical simulation tools, this new feature enables designers to analyze and optimize components for more optoelectronics applications, including active components for photonic integrated circuits across all material systems, including silicon germanium, gallium arsenide, and indium phosphide, high-speed photodiodes, and also microscale and nanoscale photovoltaics. With Lumerical Device 2015A, we've enhanced the material database to make it easier to manage, customize, and deploy semiconductor materials in your designs. These improvements include a comprehensive selection of materials, all common 3.5 and 2.6 compound semiconductors, and a complete set of ternary alloys are available providing you with a collection of more than 40 predefined materials. There's also the ability to explore material configurations and customize them to match your process, and integrated visualization of material properties. Let's take a look. In device, the material database can be accessed by clicking the materials icon. This brings up the material database where you can browse the collection of semiconductor, insulator, and metal material properties. For example, selecting silicon displays its properties, including fundamental properties like the band gap. Here you can directly access the parameters and models, such as the temperature dependence of the band gap energy. Information about the parameter models is displayed in the parameter editor. Visualizing the material behavior is easy. Click the Visualize button to advance to the visualization panel. Then select the property that you'd like to plot. You can send the property to our scripting environment for further analysis, or you can create your visualization right from the material database. Now you can see the temperature dependence of the band gap energy. With the latest release of Lumerical Device, you can simulate multi-layer structures. New features make it convenient to configure the composition of each layer, including built-in functions for common grading profiles. In addition, a custom equation enables you to define arbitrary profiles to match your design. As with previous versions of Lumerical Device, automated mesh generation takes the spatial variations of your structure into account, and built-in monitors make visualization and analysis of key quantities, like the band structure, easy. As an example, let's look at specifying a graded silicon germanium heterojunction in an HBT. Select the structure that will define the grading layer and edit its material properties. Choose the material, silicon germanium, from the list and set the function for the germanium content. This is going to be a function that will vary linearly in the vertical direction, and we're going to set the content in the germanium to be varying from 0 to 16%. When the setup is complete, click Run to start the simulation. Back in the layout, we've added a band structure analysis monitor to record the band structure along a vertical line. When the simulation is complete, we're going to select that band structure monitor and visualize the result from the results view. In addition to supporting alloy semiconductors, the 2015A release of device also includes features for internal quantum efficiency analysis. New sources and monitors enable you to easily set up and perform an intuitive analysis of the IQE. The point photo generation source, available in the generation objects menu, acts as a point source of charge carriers. Using the point source in a simulation with fixed electrostatic fields will give engineers a clear understanding of how 
the electrostatic fields influence charge carrier collection at the device terminals. By running multiple single step simulations, you can map out the probability that photo generated carriers will be collected at the terminal. As an example, we can look at the cross section of a photo detector. The point source is swept over the photo detector volume. And from this analysis, we can construct a probability or weighting function. This can be combined with the optical generation rate simulated in FDTD solutions. By integrating the result, we can get an estimate of the photo current and the internal quantum efficiency. For a single weighting function, many optical configurations can be applied, for example, source angle or microlens shift, giving engineers an efficient method to characterize the IQE of a photo detector. For more information on these features or to download the latest version of Lumerical software, please visit our website at www.lumerical.com. To see other relevant videos for the 2015A release, please visit our YouTube channel. For technical questions, please email support at lumerical.com. We also encourage you to connect with us at LinkedIn, YouTube, Google+, and Twitter. Thank you again for watching.